Every day we see brands in our feeds and on our screens, not just selling products, but also advocating for change. It's no longer unusual to see brands take a stand on issues like climate change, social justice, or mental health. But it raises interesting questions. Do brands have a responsibility to help us come together? Should they play a role in resolving conflicts and bridging divides? We've entered an era where brands have transformed from mere providers of goods and services into voices of influence. Think about campaigns that go beyond just products or services like Dove's Real Beauty or Patagonia's environmental initiatives. These brands aren't just selling products, they're promoting values, driving conversations, and sometimes even taking sides. These campaigns can be powerful and can create real change. But with this influence comes an important question. Do brands have a social responsibility to act as mediators in times of conflict? Should they help us see eye to eye or bring us together when issues seem to pull us apart. Brands are at their core storytellers and storytelling is one of the oldest forms of bridging divides. It helps people understand different perspectives. It's about sharing empathy and creates connections. When a brand tells a story that resonates with us, it's because it taps into something deeper than just a, a need for a product or service. But do brands have a responsibility to do this? On one hand, brands have reach and they shape culture in ways that can break down barriers. But on the other hand, is it too much to ask of them to take on the role of peacekeepers? Of course, the role of a brand is complicated. Some would argue that brands should focus solely on business and leave societal issues to governments and nonprofits. However, when brands stay silent on these issues that matter to their customers, it can feel like a missed opportunity. There's a fine line here. Brands can raise awareness and bring attention to issues without trying to dictate how we should feel or act. And I guess this is where it gets tricky because when brands do take a stand, there's a risk of coming across as inauthentic or maybe even worse, opportunistic. If a brand is perceived as being inauthentic, it can actually backfire, pushing people further apart rather than bringing them together. So can brands actually help with this conflict resolution? In some ways, yes. When a brand promotes values like understanding, respect and empathy, it can encourage customers to approach each other in a similar way. Consider campaigns that promote kindness, celebrate diversity or spotlight different perspectives. And this isn't just about big brands. Smaller brands, local businesses, and niche companies can play this role too by fostering community and connection. These companies don't have to take a strong stand on every issue, but can create environments where people feel safe, heard, and valued. So what's the answer? Do brands have a responsibility to help us resolve conflicts? Perhaps it's not a responsibility, but rather an opportunity. Brands that can foster empathy and understanding are in a unique place to bring people together in ways that are genuine and impactful. It's not about telling people how to think or what to believe or how to act, but rather creating spaces where connection and dialogue are possible. In the end, brands are part of our culture and for better or worse, they're part of this conversation. And the question is, how will they use that influence? And perhaps more importantly, what do we as consumers expect from them? But what do you think? Do let us know in the comments. Thanks again for watching this week. We post videos nearly every week about design, trends, culture, and digital. And do consider subscribing. From our analytics, we can see that over half our viewers aren't subscribed to our channel. So do consider, it really helps us out. Stay curious and see you in the next one.